and curious i'm kandrin what up what up it is deja how y'all doing hello if never been so, here before we do a cross section of pop culture real life if you like reality tv and that type of commentary we do that too we're here multiple times a week drop down subscribe um and like the video in advance so what's our topic for today so we're just gonna do a big a big a brief rundown of some things that happened in pop culture and just news in general um mm -hmm. before we even get to all the foolishness uh rest in peace to dexter scott king who passed away mm -hmm. i want to say a week after his father's birthday at the age of 62 of prostate cancer so mm -hmm. prayers out to the oh, king family for that loss cancer sucks mm -hmm uh other news that's been all over social media i don't know that i've really seen it on the news news and maybe there's reasoning for that but texas versus biden have you seen that yes so following kind of i'm like because so a couple of weeks ago i was sitting down with you and friends of the show joy and i was talking about i was joking about how texas is trying to secede from the u.s and then lo and behold, boom, a month later, well, however long they've been going through this whole melee, now it's like, it seems like they're really trying to find a way to succeed from the U.S. Mm. I don't know. So well, you're talking about the immigration thing, right? Yes. So okay, basically so the, the Texas Border Patrol and with Governor Greg Abbott and the federal government are not having, they're not having it. It's a melee in the sense of like, Biden administration is saying that you need to open up this specific park. I can't think of the name of it so that the migrants can come mm -hmm. through and then they can be safely cared for. Abbott and the rest of his uh, constituents are saying, absolutely not. We're shutting this down. Yeah. <laughs> That's the, the and short they've done a lot. I've been following a little bit of this and they've been putting up, a, erecting a lot of like traps in the water, like buoys in mm -hmm. the water so they can't get on onto land and people have drowned because of it. Um, they have... Mm -hmm just erected a lot of things and basically the biden administration is saying hey you know immigration is is actually our territory therefore you are not allowed to erect all this stuff and keep us out of immigration that is that is our territory um mm -hmm. so texas is like basically like we gonna do what we want to do regardless and right it's um, <laughs> because what the hell i've never heard of that in in my 40 years of life i'm not gonna say it but whatever <laughs> it's just mm -hmm. crazy like to see this happening in our lifetime i just don't know every day there's something new that's happening and so of course you have all of the uh political pundits social pundits on social media talking about how there's gonna be like a a uh war on the people so the federal government against the state of texas and they're fighting and carrying on another civil war and i'm just like come on y'all like let's not speak these things into existence because that's hella scary um i i just i'm at a loss i don't i don't know what to think of this <laughs> i mean listen it's not the first time and it won't be the last time where a state has basically gone up against the federal government and saying like you're you don't have jurisdiction here we're gonna do what we want but essentially the big issue more than anything, and it's not just Texas, it's in other states too, um, mm -hmm. a lot of states in the South, in fact, as mm -hmm. it relates to abortion and, uh, and voting rights and all kinds of other stuff, where they're saying like, yeah, we're just not going to do what the Supreme Court says. Like, it doesn't matter that you found, you know, you didn't find in our favor, we're still going to do our laws. Do what we want. Mm -hmm. We want. Um, and there's like a voting rights situation that's also happening. I think it's in Alabama, if I'm not mistaken, but like, where they're just like, yeah, I know, like, yeah, you made the case, like, we made the case, we lost the case, we're still going to do it anyways, and, and try to stop us. It's like, that's wild. That's why we have here. Like, well, hello? Like, where do we do this at? This is the United States of America, like, huh? <laughs> I just, wow. It's going to get wild. Yeah, so, uh, the last few things in the pop culture streets, or the, the actual pop culture pieces, at the beginning of it, we were talking about news in America, Mm -hmm. um hiss versus queen radio miss Nicki minaj megan the stallion and the crazy beef i didn't realize that there was like alluded beef going on betwixt these two and then finally megan responded with the hiss song i haven't even heard that song 
to be honest. All I have heard is how crazy and unhinged Nicki Minaj sounds. I have I've been paying attention to this at the periphery. Like I've been watching other people talk about it, but I've neither heard Same. the song other than that one snippet where she talks about Megan's Law. And uh yeah, I haven't seen anything with Nikki because I find her to be pretty insufferable. So and really problematic. It's just, so it's just really crazy. And I was listening to some commentary earlier today um what is the podcast let me go ahead and shout them out because that's what I was listening to it is uh what is this called humanized with blue Toulouse and they were talking about how it's crazy to see how this all is playing out as it relates to the women of hip-hop because years ago there was a point where uh Nicki Minaj was coming out and basically saying you know what's the deal why won't little Kim acknowledge me like she's the reason why I you know started rapping and so on and so forth and then you turn around and do this same type of energy that was given to you. You're doing it to the other girls. Yeah. And it just doesn't make any sense. It's, it mm-hmm. just don't fit. 100%. So a- for those of you that actually have heard the, the two songs, Nikki's and, and Megan's, y'all can, you know, put them down in the comments. I, I don't, I haven't listened to it. I ain't gonna say her a lot to you. I just n- noted that uh, Megan is out here living her best life. She dropped her her disc record and she kept right on going. And I'm like, I know that's right. Do and I don't think sis. it was even a whole disc record. It was like a line from everything I can. I but it wasn't heard. just about, sorry to cut you off, to my knowledge, and I could be wrong, y'all. But the hiss was about all of the commentary that's been had about her. Because she was running down everybody in that song. It wasn't just right, Nikki. That- that was my point. My point oh, okay. was like it was a line about Nikki. It was more broadly about a whole bunch of people and a whole bunch of things. And <laughs> Nikki's just the one who, you know, hit, hit dog them. hollering. So basically, hit dog hollering. Um, last on my pop culture things, child, it has been some things going around and around and around since that damn Diddy debacle yeah. that many of this happened a couple of weeks ago at this point so there's this um a pop culture celebrity gossip vlogger on youtube by the name of tisa tells i will drop her video clip i will drop the link in here um but she is alleging that diddy and a few other known celebs are facing potential rico charges and I am just like, what, what is going on? Like, um, they didn't. So the snippet that I saw, because I got this from YouTube streets or not YouTube, TikTok streets, where the girl was running down the list of reasonings. But she also stated that uh, as it relates to Diddy, she was talking about how he switched up his legal team and the types of lawyers that he went and got are specific for, you know, combating like, this type of uh, allegation essentially. got it okay so i'm just like what the hell is going on and then of course i mean you know, it makes sense if you think about it because if he was and this is all alleged i don't know anything mm-hmm. i'm just speculating based off we of don't the know any of this that just provided i have no background i know nothing Same. i have not watched anything i'm just spitballing off the top of my head so alleged 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 possibly potentially who knows this is not our business okay it's not is that out the way um we're not breaking any sort of news this is no. stuff that is coming but if from you think already about it, put out yeah uh, if you think streams. about it it would make sense for him to have a person on <clears throat> the team that deals with like racketeering and stuff like that because yeah. if he was running if they're going to say like he was doing all this illegal stuff right and he was running all of this stuff through bad boy they're going to say that's that's Rac- that's racketeering like he this mm-hmm. is a criminal they're gonna say that his company was a criminal enterprise exactly what they're doing in young thug essentially saying like his record label is a front for a criminal enterprise so mm-hmm. it makes sense and especially given the case with young thug and like how that whole situation is going down it would make sense that any rapper that owned a record label that's getting hit with some charges would have a rico expert nearby yeah so we're going to see. It's it's not, it ain't looking good. Um, you have so else? that is the end of all the pop culture things for the stories that are alleging 
um, the Rico allegations for the people that I named earlier. I will make sure I put her video in here if you want to watch the full hour and some change. Do you? I did not. Um, I'm just going to see what shakes out because it's going to be in the news eventually. Yes. So uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you do have any extra commentary for us, put that down in the comments. And if you have stories that you want us to talk about, girl, send that to the email. It is linked in the description box below. Peace out. Bye.